Pam is coming. Yes, we gotta go. Pam Pal's coming. Pam Pal's coming. Hold on. Pam Pal's coming. She's coming. Pam Pal's coming. Who's Pam Pal? I'm Pam Pal the host of the new Pam Pal Show. Are you broke, busted, and disgusted? Have you robbed Peter to pay Paul and they both ran out of money? Have you been lied on, cheated on, hated on? Well, it's time to get it on. Welcome to the Pam Pal Show. Call your neighbors and call your friends and tell them to tune in because our Pan Pal Show is back on again. And today am I excited. We got B.B. King's grandson, Christopher King, right here. That's right, on the Pan Pal Show. Just arriving in style with none other than Time to Shine. Watch this. We're going to bring him on for the Pan Pal Show and interview him right here at B.B. King's restaurant in Old Town. Stay tuned. Be motivated and inspired as Pam Powell illustrates the power of the P-Factors. Start a new and wonderful life with the help of this amazing book. Order your copy of Pam Powell's book, The P-Factor, today at www.pampowell.org. Pam Powell is also available for speaking engagements. Visit her website at pampowell.org. This book right here that I'm holding in my hand, The Seven Principles of Overcoming Any Obstacle, will change your life and allow you to experience the thrill of victory rather than the agony of defeat in any situation. You know they tell us we're either going into a problem or coming out of one. Want to come out? Want to overcome obstacles? Want to win and experience the thrill of victory? Well, I'll tell you what, you need to get a copy of this book, The Seven Principles of Overcoming Obstacles, at www.pampalempowers.com. Again, that's www.pampowerempowers.com, and it will change your life. Welcome back to the Pam Pal Show. Call your neighbors and call your friends and tell them to tune in because the Pam Pal Show is back on again. And I am so excited. I am honored to have on my set. I'm talking about none other than entertainment mogul. I'm telling you a fashion statement of his own. The grandson of the legend himself, the late B.B. King. And I'm telling you what, we're hanging out at B.B. King's restaurant right here in the great city of Orlando, Florida. Welcome to the Pam Pal Show, Christopher King. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, Thanks we just so me. honored to have you. Look at you. I mean, my <laughs> God. I mean, look at you. Got some purple on. Look, I'm talking. Check the shoes out. I mean, audience, look at that. Got some purple <laughs> round the shoes. Now, you know we rocking today. We rocking today. Because I love that purple. Yes, ma'am. And yes, I am honored that you will come all the way from Tampa to be with us today. But let's talk a little bit. B.B. King. I mean, he's a legend in his own time. I can remember back in the day going through some stuff, and I used to like to hear that song, The Thrill Real Is Gone. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> but, but, but tell me about B.B. King. Tell me a little about the legacy that he's left behind, because I tell you, you're all over the place. Well, honestly, he wore a 13-size shoe. Wow. So when you got a 13-size shoe, it's, it's, you can't feel that. Okay. All you know, right. I'm a 10 and a half. So all I right. I know in my lifespan, I probably won't be able to accomplish as many goals as he has. Um, man was built differently back then. Okay. You know, to today's man. So, you know, we're more easily groomed. Back then, they were bred. All you right. know, he walked 100 miles just to get to Memphis from mm. Indianola. You know, a man with a dream and a desire. Today, you can't get a man to walk to the, walk to the corner store. 100 miles. You know, with beat up shoes, mm. rags on his back. You know, wow. the, the man that was built 1925 to 1935 to 1940 when he was 20, you can't, that man is not built today. 
I got so you. That, so the toughness. The toughness, that strength, that endurance, that, that strong will to succeed, that want that nothing's going to stop you, that legacy is built from that. It's unstoppable. What did you gain as wisdom from him? What would you say the greatest thing that you gained from being his grandson? Focus. Focus, okay. Simply put, um, I've done a lot of things in my lifespan. You know, I'm 33 years old. Okay. So I've done more, traveled the world and seen more, honestly, uh, without him. All right. On my own than I have with him and being able to talk to him. Uh, call him on the phone. You know, he's calling me on the phone, 3 o'clock in the morning. Son, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing pretty good. No, are you all right? I felt some of my bones that, that you wasn't in your right thoughts. So we had a bond or a connection that most could probably couldn't understand. Mm -hmm. um, I don't play musical instruments, but I love business. Right. And that's where I was most successful at from a business standpoint with right. entertainment. Um, and he saw that. When you look at his life, though, uh, and the uh, talk about uh, the tragedy that surrounded his death, uh, people say that he was murdered or that was out in the news. Have uh, you, Do you have an opinion on that? Or what's the latest on the murder well, situation about B.B. You King? know, me finding out firsthand about his death, mm. sitting in Dallas in a, a nine-hour layover, I was already on my way to see him because we had a scheduled meeting anyway that Saturday. So I left out from town for Thursday, but with the storm over Texas, flights were delayed. So I had an option to fly to Miami and do a layover or fly to Dallas and do a layover. So I'd rather fly closer to my destination than fly away from it. Well, hold up a minute. Did you tell me that on his sick bed while he was going through, he was still scheduling business meetings? Still working. Wow, still, still working. working. You know, I saw Jimmy Carter, President Jimmy Carter, on television the other day, and he's 90 years old or whatever, and just found out that he has cancer, cancer that's going on. And he's talking about he's still working, still he's going to do this, he's traveling here and there. Jimmy Wow. So, so that's the same way as him. So he was having a business meeting with you. Yes, we were all scheduled to meet Saturday morning just to talk about the company in general. Something, okay. You know, with King Road Show um, and what it's going to do or what it was going to be because it was his. Okay. You know, and in, at the end of the day, it was a machine that still had opportunity to generate revenue regardless if he was here or not. So, flew out Thursday uh, en route, and we had to lay over in Dallas for nine hours. En route to the hotel, I had my business partner with me, and the van, my Facebook. Okay. Just goes haywire. Facebook. Wow, it Twitter, blows up. Facebook. Text messages are pouring into my phone. I mean, I still have probably about 70 unread messages that I just haven't gotten to. So you mean you heard about his death by Facebook or Twitter? By viral. Oh my God. Social networking. What did what what did what did that do to you? What, I mean, my goodness. Honest, honestly, I, I, my only response was I broke down in tears. Simply put, and I threw my phone. I had to apologize to my business partner because he don't he doesn't live here. He lives in Japan, and he flew in with me. And I threw my phone to him. He knew at that point. Mm. what had happened and the, the other passengers on the van they still did not they didn't even know who I was mm. so when we got off the van and they were asking is your friend okay because I walked off and he told them kind of a quick synopsis of what was going on wow and they started crying mm. <laughs> so everybody in tears everybody because I mean I mean BB King a legend in his true. own time I mean, he satisfied the hearts of so many people, Millions. especially when you look back at the lives of a lot of, especially uh, people who are going through that blues just did yeah. something for them where they it could have that going. outlet, kept them going and so forth and so on. Yep. And uh, I know we're going to be taking a bro break in just a moment, but when you look at his legacy in his life and, and you look and you look at the good times, the bad times, what has been your most funniest time with him? <laughs> Oh man, my birthday. <laughs> okay, what happened? What happened? My birthday. We're in Pensacola, Florida. Uh huh. And on my birthday, I did not know he was going to throw me a party. So okay. I was just going as a normal grandchild, papa. I'm going to see my papa perform. So I went to see him perform, but it was my birthday weekend. Okay. So I bought me a, bought me a new car, 
put me some rims on it. You know, I'm young. All right, now, like those rims. Yeah, put me some rims on it. Well, honey, if they and, look as dressed well, as you, I know you dressed out in your well, ride, dog. So I'm leaving, uh, living in Albany, Georgia at the time. So I'm leaving Albany, I'm heading down the highway, and he calls me on the phone and said, where are you? I said, I'm on the road. I should be there in about four hours. He said, son, I need you here now. I said, I can only get there as fast as I can get there, Papa. He said, look at here. I need you here now. Okay. So don't go nowhere. Don't detour. Don't stop. All right. So when I got there, checked into the hotel. We were standing at the Crown Plaza uh, in Pensacola. And he said, meet me on the bus. Get on the bus. Go straight to the venue. Keep in mind, the show is the next night. He didn't even, the show is not that. I got there a day early. So I'm like, why are we going to the venue? We get to the venue, and it's probably roughly about 3,000 people already in the seats. Oh, my goodness. And he took me on the stage, and there was a cake on the stage. And it was just eye-opening that he would do that mm. for my, I think that was my 24th, 25th birthday. 3,000 people to the birthday party. Didn't even know who these people are. Just had it Fans. for his grandson. Just for me. Wow, that's but incredible. The funny part, he ate the cake first. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's my birthday cake. So he ate the cake. He was like, I'm the king. All right, then. And I done paid for this. And I'm throwing a party. And I'm throwing a party. That's BB King. So I'm going to get this cake. All right. <laughs> well, let me ask you this now. Right before we go on break, and then we're going to come back and get the answer to this. When you look at his life and you look at all the things that's happened, what would you consider your most bizarre experience that you've had to deal with with your grandfather prior to his death? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Stony Brook Academy, we're not just a daycare. Our learning is above and beyond, a place where your child comes first. With more than 100 years professional experience for children, private school K-6, through special needs inclusion, therapists on duty, homeschooling, private school K-6, through transportation provided, and we accept 4C and McKay scholarship. Call us now at 407-347-8903. That's Stony Brook Academy. We await your arrival. Stony Brook Academy is number one! Hi, I'm the owner of the Sobic Subs. Phoenix Group helped me and my employee with insurance. The Phoenix Group helped me save a lot of money with my health insurance. The Phoenix Group helped us get insurance when we had one of life's biggest surprises. The Phoenix Group helped me as an independent driver qualify for the health insurance. The U.S. Supreme Court just confirmed the Affordable Health Care Act, and the Phoenix Group is here to deliver! Struggling to pay your child support? Are not receiving any? Need a modification? Has the Department of Revenue filed a case against you? Don't face this alone. If you are dealing with a child support problem, a knowledgeable family law attorney may be able to help you solve it. Let us help so you can focus on being the best parent you can be. Stress less, choose more. We're here at Orlando's own stylist award show. Only the finest in clothing can walk this red carpet. Where did you get your suit? I only shop at Men in Style. They have every suit, size, and style to meet all of their customers' needs. Clubwear, blazers, jeans, slim fit suits for your everyday occasion. Buy one suit at $59.99 or two for $99.99. Buy one suit at $169.99, get two free. We carry boy suits starting at $39.99. Shirt combos and shoes starting at $19.99. I like your style. Men in Style, clothes that make you stand out from the crowd. Be motivated and inspired as Pam Powell illustrates the power of the P-Factors. Start a new and wonderful life with the help of this amazing book. Order your copy of Pam Powell's book, The P-Factor, today at www.pampowell.org. Pam Powell is also available for speaking engagements. Visit her website at pampowell.org. This book right here that I'm holding in my hand, The Seven Principles of Overcoming Any Obstacle, will change your life and allow you to experience the thrill of victory rather than the agony of defeat in any situation. You know they tell us we're either going into a problem or coming out of one. Want to come out? Want to overcome obstacles? Want to win and experience the thrill of victory? Well, I'll tell you what, you need to get a copy of this book, The Seven Principles of Overcoming Obstacles, at www.pampalempowers.com. 
Again, that's www.pampowerempowers.com and it will change your life. Welcome back. Wow, now tell me, what have you uh, observed that what you feel was your most bizarre incident with B.B. King? Well, honestly taken, you know, it's always about money in the entertainment industry. Of course. So me knowing, being able to calculate or work with my grandfather hand in hand, settle out bills with the promoter, you know, pick up the cash, things of that nature, and make sure everything gets processed properly, appropriately, excuse me. Um, from that perspective, one, one day, he always did payroll on Sundays. Okay. I was at payroll on Sundays. Everybody got paid off. The band got paid out. Family got paid off. They were there. He paid everybody off on Sunday. So one Sunday, we're talking, and he pulled me to the side. and said, son, I got a problem. I said, what's wrong? He said, well, I want to be able to get a family a little taste. But we only had two shows this week. And, of course, he had to do payroll. So payroll, when you got a full band, is high. Mm -hmm. You got, you know, licensed band members. Right, got to pay. You got bus drivers, you got security, plus he has his management. Mm -hmm. You know, so I said, well, what's wrong? What you need? He said, I need 10 cents. I said, you need 10 cents. From who? <laughs> <laughs> like who, who, who? In other <laughs> words, <laughs> he wanted to get a, a, a borrow some money from. He wanted to borrow some money. Well, business is like that. I mean, business is it up is. and down like a roller coaster, but so, you just keep moving. So we sat in that room. Now, I had been out there with him for roughly about two weeks. Okay. And of course, when you're a man in the King family and you're on that road, you're not a guest. Come on. you're not family, you're an employee. So you're working and he pays you. All right. So luckily, he had already paid me because I had been there. Plus, you know, he's granddaddy. So if I say I'm gonna go out and hang out for a little bit, he gave me a little extra taste on the side and said, here, go enjoy yourself. And to, to him, lunch cost $100. All right. He loved a good life. There's nothing wrong with that. Dinner might cost a thousand. Okay. And that's what he'd give you. If you say, I'm going to get something to eat, he might give you a hundred dollars or he might give you a thousand dollars. Right, right. You know, I was a smart man. I might spend ten dollars. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. All and, right. I, and I didn't spend nothing more. So when he asked me for it, I actually had what he needed. All right. So I said, okay, I'll be right back. Mm. He said, well, go out that door. <laughs> so wait, 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 hold on. You. Okay, so he orchestrated even that Because BBK? he didn't want the family to know what was going on. Business. And I can understand that. And like I said, you know, the bond me and him had, the understanding. Wow. People, a lot of folks didn't like it. Right. They didn't. When my son was born, they didn't like it because wow. they know that's another legacy in the line. Right. That cut them in. in, in, in in, in, in past. Well, there's going to always in situations like this, especially in entertainment, there's going to be haters out there. But always. the thing that you brought up is that B.B. King had obstacles like everybody else. Everybody. A lot of times people Real think obstacles. when you make money and this and that, but people go through obstacles. As I was yeah. listening to Donald Trump, they were talking about his bankruptcy. Well, people sometimes have to do that, whether it be business, whether just, it be personal. Just because Things you got money. go through doesn't mean you're going to always exactly. have it. Just because you got money don't mean you ain't going to... More money means more money problems. Hey, come on, come on. And seasons do change yeah, in your life. All day. Yeah, I mean, the Bible says that seasons are going to change. So I'm saying to you that you, by saying that today, you have given hope to people because people go like, what, B.B. King? So if they're having money problems, we got viewers on watching. Hey, B.B. King, name about every entertainer out there, <laughs> any celebrity out there, any yeah. business person out there. You know, you've gone through that. I've gone through that gone even through as a it. business person. But the bottom line is you keep moving and know that a moving. setback is a setup for a yes, comeback. It. And did yes, he have a comeback? Because yes, guess what? You carried the legacy. Now tell me, I got to know about you because I know you're a fashion mogul. I know you red carpet host. I heard you getting ready to premiere in your own movie. Yeah. I'm just too excited about all. Tell me about you. Let's we each pass that baton. You're here <laughs> now. You. And I know there are others in the family that are doing great things, but you on the Pam Powell show. I'm on so the Pam I want to know. As clean as you are with them shoes and that coat. <laughs> Oh, Lord, how mercy. Tell me about Christopher King. What are you doing with the legacy? Well, before we move on to okay. me, we're okay. going to close out, and I have that for you. This oh, wow. BB King pen. A BB, oh, wow, authentic. So, as you know, I always wear my pen. No matter what I'm doing, I oh, always have my BB King pen thank on. You. To, to show how much I support his legacy um, and how thank much he's instilled you. in me 
to be the man I am today. You know. Wow, so this is a wow, this is a collector's item. I heard yeah, there are no more available. Them. I tried to call the merchandise company that was doing the merchandising for him. They're not even carrying his line anymore. So if you don't have a BB King pen, you're not gonna be able to get them. I tried to eBay, I tried to Google it. I can't find them anywhere. So wow. I got a I got a, a little bushel at the house that I that I had from the funeral. So I realized that's all I got, you know. Well, I thank you so much. I will cherish this always, right. especially right here on the Pam Pound Show. I got me a B, and I got Lucille right here with me. <laughs> Come on now. Thank you yeah. so much, Christopher. So tell me, tell me about you. What are the things that you're doing from this legacy? So I'll start out with my gentleman's course, which is a nonprofit curriculum that I'm writing um, for underprivileged youth, wow. men and women, 12 to 18, okay. to be educated on the proper perspectives of how to be a gentleman. Wonderful. Um, attire, of course, because your appearance matters. So do you, are you into the baggy pants movement? No. What no, do you feel no, about the no, sagging pants? No, now, no. I heard something about that the other day. It comes from jail. So if, okay. you, if you, I tell young men all the time, if you're sagging your pants, simply put, you're, two things, you're advertising something that you're not. Okay. And you're disrespecting a culture that exists in our society. Okay. Because if you're not available for a male to enter you, then you need to pull your pants off. Oh, so that was the sign in the prisons in that the prisons, it was okay jail, for that. Wow. I'm signaling you that I'm okay, that this is this is oh, okay. Oh, boy. Now, but most people probably don't know that, don't have the knowledge. And in fact, I'm going to be doing a show uh, about pulling your pants up. So that was good that you're teaching that to help them. And some of the other things that you're doing. Yes, and you know, I'm also a stylist. So I do dress wow. people for a living. I love fashion. I love I clothing. I can tell. I you love know? it. I've been watching your <laughs> Facebook page and we want people to go to that too. Give them the information about the Facebook page. I see all those fashions well, in every, your photo and I'm everything saying. Everything is simple for me because I, okay. do, I do consult for a lot of people for branding and marketing and imaging. And it's one. It's just King the Brand. That's my Instagram. That's my Twitter. Um, that's my Facebook. You know, but my real name is Christopher King. But I just prefer it to just be called King. Just call me King. Call me you the King. Just, just call me King. I love that. I love that. Hey, hey, the King is in the house on the Pam Pow Show, and I I'm so honored that the Queen over here uh, could interview another King on the I'm show. Glad to be here. So some of the greatest things. I think you're involved in a movie now. Is that correct? Yes, and actually filming the movie here in Orlando. Okay. Um, it's called Room 236. Okay. And it's a uh, it's a it's an action uh, action crime movie. Okay. So it's a lot going on in the movie. A lot of killing. A lot of gunslinging. Uh, but I actually play a mob boss. Wow. So they've already contracted out for the sequel. So got paid. Well, when I saw you walk in today with them shades on, I got scared of you already. I go like, all right, staff, y'all y'all get straight now. The king is in the it's house. Coming. So what do you feel? Uh, and, and we were talking about that the other day about you just working the dream. You know, a lot of people, uh, you know, don't understand that nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream. Yeah. When you look at your life as young as you are and all the things that you're doing and accomplishing, what keeps you focused on the dream? And what is your dream? This year, last year when I first moved to Florida, my goal was to start creating my brand for Florida. Okay. 2016, I was talking to my manager, Tina, Tina Cox. With Diamond Management Group, and I told her, I said, I only got one goal this year. All right. We've done fashion. I've done fashion weeks, and I've done fashion shows. I want TV. And okay. I want TV, period. I okay. Want the big screen. That's my only goal this year is to break into the movie industry. Well, you've already done that. And now you're on the Pam Powell Show, so you got TV too. <laughs> and and, and uh, we're working right now on the syndication, so we're excited about that. As we begin to close, uh, on the show now, what would be your final thoughts and words that you want to share with all the millions of viewers that are watching today? Well, honestly, you know, whatever your dream or your goal is, go for it. Don't let no obstacle, no barrier, no person stop you from achieving your Ooh, goal. I love it. If you either go with them, go through them, go around them, seek your goal. Just mm -hmm. don't burn nobody in your path of your walking. Come on but still encourage people, okay, we couldn't do the deal, but I'll come back and visit you in a minute. I'm, I, I gotta go this way now. All right. You know, and just try to salvage business as you continue to do business. Even if you can't do business with them, just keep it positive and just keep it going forward and don't hurt nobody. All right. You know, 
along the way. You don't have to do that. No, you don't. All you got to do is do you. Do you. When you do you, you get you. You stay in your lane. Always. And then you win no matter what. You win no matter what. Well, you know, I know that you're going to the movie set right now, and I know the limo is coming up to get you. I just want to know, can I hang out with you on the movie set? Because you know. <laughs> I'm gonna have a movie soon, and I and I want to learn just how to do that thing. Well, definitely. Come All on, right, I'm Let's coming with you set. on the set. Let's go to the set. Okay, we're gonna do that. But I want to leave one word with you. It's been a pleasure, as my friend Les Brown would say. It's been a plum pleasing pleasure to have you as our audience today on the show. Well, but you. like McFadden and Whitehead would say, you know, ain't no stopping us now. We on the move. Show them, Chris. We on the move. We gonna see you all at the T.O.P. Because we know that's where God wants us to be. We're headed out. Follow us right here to the ride to the movie. We'll see you now. Stay tuned again next Sunday at 5 p.m. to the Pam Powell Show. But don't touch the dial yet. There's more in store. Thank you so much for watching The Pam Powell Show. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I have. With this show, it is designed to inspire our communities across the world with hope. And that's exactly what this show is doing. And that's exactly what this world needs with the things that are going on today. With Pam Powell, I had a chance to get to know her on a little personal level with knowing how ambitious she was and how she didn't let any of her obstacles to hinder her from pursuing her goals. She's an author of two books and I encourage you highly to take a look at those books on her website. In fact, you can go to www.pampowellempowers.com. There you can discover how you can book her for speaking engagements. She's also a branding expert, a motivational speaker, and she's also a talk show host, of course, as you see today. And if you're interested in being on her show, you can definitely be a guest on her show. Just go to her website again, www.pampowellempowers.com. We hope to see you tune in again, same time, same place, next week on The Pam Powell Show. Be blessed. Pam Powell is coming. Yes, we gotta go. Pam Powell's coming. Pam Powell's coming. Hold on. Pam Powell's coming. She's coming. Pam Powell's coming. Who's Pam Powell? I'm Pam Powell, the host of the new Pam Powell Show. Are you broke, busted, and disgusted? Have you robbed Peter to pay Paul and they both ran out of money? Have you been lied on, cheated on, hated on? Well, it's time to get it on. This book right here that I'm holding in my hand, The Seven Principles of Overcoming Any Obstacle, will change your life and allow you to experience the thrill of victory rather than the agony of defeat in any situation. You know they tell us we're either going into a problem or coming out of one. Want to come out? Want to overcome obstacles? Want to win and experience the thrill of victory? Well, I'll tell you what, you need to get a copy of this book, The Seven Principles of Overcoming Obstacles, at www.pampalempowers.com. Again, that's www.pampowellempowers.com, and it will change your life. Be motivated and inspired as Pam Powell illustrates the power of the P-Factors. Start a new and wonderful life with the help of this amazing book. Order your copy of Pam Powell's book, The P-Factor, today at www.pampowell.org. Pam Powell is also available for speaking engagements. Visit her website at pampowell.org.